Hi there, I'm Tara, and welcome to Smart Tech Tips, a show where we discuss smart deploy product knowledge and walkthroughs, as well as some general tech tips and tricks that will hopefully make your life a little easier. In today's episode, we're going to discuss something we've been getting a lot of questions about. Can you use Microsoft Intune and Windows Autopilot as your primary imaging solution? Or is the Intune and Autopilot combo possibly even a replacement for traditional computer imaging entirely? It's actually a pretty hot topic that's inspired a lot of heated debate across the internet. So let's add a little fuel to that fire, shall we? Editor, cue that intro. A lot of you watching this video might already have a basic understanding of this stuff, but for those that don't, that's totally okay too. We'll start with a basic primer and then we'll jump more into the nitty gritty. If you're a sysadmin and you're faced with the very common scenario of having to set up and roll out new PCs across your environment, or let's face it, HR has called you and said they have a new employee who's starting today and they forgot to tell you about it, Ugh, so many bad words. You've got three options. Door number one, door number two, and door number three. Each one takes you on a different adventure. And which one you open, well, that depends on where you wanna go. Or uh, the more truthful answer is how much money your company wants to spend on IT. So, door number one. This is manual installation and configuration. Please don't do this one. Just. Just don't. It's okay to love yourself. You don't have to put yourself through this kind of pain. But I guess if you really, really want to waste five hours of your life, go ahead. This incredibly painful method involves setting up devices manually without the use of an imaging software or configuration tools. It's an incredibly slow and incredibly time-consuming process. It starts with manually installing a fresh version of Windows, and it's usually a fully automated process. If you're installing an earlier version of Windows, you would also have to install all the Windows updates, more time, more annoying restarts. Can you tell I really don't like this option? Next, you'll have to manually search for the drivers, install them, find the right drivers, and everyone knows the device manager is a big, huge liar and can't be trusted. So this already tedious process is made even worse because now you're searching for the correct drivers. What version do I need? I don't know. Applications will also have to be manually installed. Now you got to do local user accounts. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure rising already. Now I got to join the machine to the domain. Awesome. Oh, you want to restart again? Yay. Next, I got to do printers, map network drivers. From start to finish, this whole process can take five to six hours per endpoint. And that's if you don't get it interrupted seven times by Janet in accounting because she forgot her password again. None of that sounds fun, right? But if for some weird reason you love to push next over and over again, this is the solution for you. But if not, let's move on to option number two. Okay, door number two, using an automated policy-based configuration to handle your devices. What does that mean? Who knows, really? This method involves foregoing imaging altogether. Okay, so the basics. You set up a new device using a program like Windows Autopilot based on policy settings you set up beforehand based on your business needs. This method is used for PCs that already have an OEM Windows OS. In a typical scenario, new PCs are purchased and preloaded with commercial OEM licenses registered in Windows Autopilot and run through an automated process when the user first logs in. How is this not exploding the second the user touches it? Great question. It's magic. That's how. The coolest part of this whole magical journey is that it can be done over the internet. The devices don't have to touch the network. No VPN, no problem. So it comes in handy for all those remote workers HR just hired and forgot to tell you about it. As a companion product, Microsoft Intune, a cloud-based mobile device management system, can be used to manage user devices and their application. It works in a similar fashion. You can push out software to machines that have been placed in groups within Azure. 
So remember Janet from accounting? How could we forget? She's left you three voicemails since lunch. Her computer is in a group for accounting, and that group is scoped to receive all those sweet financial applications. It's a very cool product. The issue is the learning curve is a bit steep. You have to add the apps to the portal and then deploy the company portal to the endpoints. And this acts as a sort of self-service and it will allow the end user to install their own applications. As I mentioned, it's very cool, but it's also very time consuming. Someone's got to put all that nonsense into Azure and Janet's not going to get out of her chair to go find you the money for all those additional staff you're going to need to set it all up. I hate Janet. Unfortunately, neither Windows, Autopilot, nor Microsoft Intune is designed to deploy images. They do stuff to pre-existing images. And finally, there's door number three. This will be Windows imaging, which is what products like Smart Deploy do. Imaging is a common way to prepare new Windows devices for use, or if done well, how IT people make it so you don't talk to them. While imaging can be done in multiple ways, the more efficient option is to use a computer imaging solution to wipe a device clean and deploy a custom corporate Windows image that includes an OS, common configs, and business applications that your company uses. This also includes the super annoying driver device and application settings we talked about. Having those hard-coded into the image makes life so much easier. If you're deploying a certain type of machine in mass, it will be perfect each and every time leaving you those five hours to troll Reddit. IT technicians armed with a fast and reliable imaging solution will also find it even tends to come in handy in other situations like break fix scenarios, hardware replacement, and even disaster recovery, making you the new company hero. Yay you! Now that we've talked about all three options, let's talk a little more about Autopilot. With Windows Autopilot's ability to create a customized out-of-box experience and Intune's ability to manage devices on an ongoing basis, is this going to be the all-in-one for every organization? And more importantly, will they be the new power couple? Do Ben Amfleck and Jennifer Lopez have to up their social media presence? The short answer, no. In addition to some uncommon prerequisites, the general understanding in IT and on Reddit is that Windows Autopilot is not a replacement for imaging. And now that modern imaging solutions like Smart Deploy can image computers from the cloud, the manual touch point can be eliminated altogether to better support a remote workforce. In truth, imaging devices is still important for many sysadmins and for several good reasons. To begin with, if you're working with imaging software, it's a foolproof, repeatable process. Imaging PCs ensures that every machine, whether it's a new or an existing device, starts from the same baseline. It eliminates productivity interruptions caused by human error. And let's not forget Janet. With a reliable imaging solution, this task can even be completed by an entry-level technician without extensive experience, thus freeing up your more experienced technicians to troll Reddit. Another advantage of using dedicated imaging software versus going without is that each Windows device can start from a known clean state. OEM hardware often comes preloaded with unwanted bloatware that isn't suitable in a corporate environment. And even with uninstallers, there may be traces of the software left behind. Nobody wants that trash. Creating a clean, up-to-date reference machine and deploying the golden image to every device offers better quality control and none, no unknown variables, reducing the likelihood of unexpected downtime and non-compliance, enabling timely IT troubleshooting, way less bloat and way more efficient. It also ensures OS compatibility and minimizes disruption following any Windows update. For example, with a reliable computer imaging solution, images can be more easily maintained and are more likely to be updated with the latest patches. An existing device with an out-of-date OS risks running into compatibility issues following certain Windows updates, which can affect productivity. That machine has been sitting in a warehouse for a few months and is in desperate need of a spa day. Take any major Windows update, for instance. It's chaos, human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Thanks, Microsoft. With OEM Media, you're always working with 
the Windows version in the original image, which will not be updated. At best, the user will have to install many Windows updates upon first login. Let's take a second and imagine Janet installing anything. Come on. At worst, the OS may simply remain out of date and vulnerable to bugs and security exploits, which should have already been patched. Hello, ransomware. By reimaging with an always up-to-date corporate image, you can eliminate these issues and ensure that your users are given the best possible start. There's also the security aspect that revolves around troubleshooting and dealing with the fallout from virus damage. From Windows system file corruption to a high impact cybersecurity event, with dedicated imaging software, it can much more easily minimize business impact and get users back to full productivity quickly by reimaging devices with a clean and updated Windows image. Trust me, if and when you get hit with ransomware, you're gonna be in the corner crying and you will need all the time you can for that cry fest. So a quick and easy way to get machines restored will be your best buddy. I don't wanna completely bash an option like Intune and Autopilot because that combo does also have its merit. Microsoft has continued to evolve it and improve upon these solutions with each year that passes. And we've definitely gotta give props where props are due. But that leads directly into one of the most common questions we get asked about Autopilot and Intune. Why should I use imaging software when I'm already getting Windows Autopilot and Microsoft Intune for free with my Microsoft subscription? Now, for a lot of companies, we get it. We totally do. The upfront cost is often the primary or only consideration within the organization's overriding crucial trade-offs that could have a bigger impact on day-to-day -day operations. That said, it's important to remember that unless your IT team is made up of volunteers, there's a real cost associated with their time. A free license cost doesn't mean that a solution won't cost you in other ways. Free isn't always free. There's always a cost, even if that isn't monetary. These solutions are super cool, but they take lots of time to set up and deploy. If you're on a small team, this has to be a consideration. Look. Ultimately, it's important to remember that Windows Autopilot and Microsoft Intune are not bad products. They're great at what they do. And if they fit your needs, that's great. You're now dead to me, but whatever. Just remember, they're not true imaging tools. They're not going to replace the need for imaging for the reasons mentioned earlier. Windows imaging is a much cleaner approach. It takes less time than you might think, and it goes a long way in setting up time-strapped IT teams for success. Well, that's it for today's episode, but if you want to continue this conversation, feel free to chat with us below. We'd love to help. Whether it's with Smart Deploy or Autopilot and Intune, or even a product from our parent company, PDQ, or our sister company, Simple MDM. We just wanna make sure to find the best product to suit your needs. Be sure to subscribe for future updates as well as to check out the rest of our channel lineup. I'm Tara and I'll see you in the next one.